Welcome back to another episode of the Kaleidoscope Maker. In this episode you'll get to see how to make uh, uh, what I call rectangular images. Some people call them the carousel image. Uh, it's four, four or three or two um, mirrors that are parallel to each other. In the case of four, perpendicular to those. So perpendicular and parallel. Uh, rectangular shape mirror system is what it is and you get to see how to make something like this Welcome back to another episode of the Kaleidoscope Maker. I know it's been a while, and I'm sorry for that, but I do want to let you know I've gotten full-time employment, and so I can afford to keep uh, doing these videos and supplying information. Um, I was requested by one of the viewers if I would show the um, four mirror system. Um, <clears throat> I forget the name of it. carousel um, image and so I thought since I haven't done mirror systems in a while which these can be put into tubes or bodies to make kaleidoscopes uh, I thought I'd show you how to do all the what I call rectangular well, not all some of the rectangular uh, mirror systems that can be done and uh, give you an idea of what their images look like. So that's what I'm going to start doing right now. So hold on. Still recording, okay. Um, again, I've got some mirrors cut. They're all the same size. That's losing a little bit of its mirror. I don't know why. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to do a variety of mirror systems using what I call the rectangular mirror which deals with four mirrors, not the triangular one, but four mirrors. <clears throat> and there's a variety of ways to do this. I was going to use some hot glue to hold them together. I'm going to try to do it cheap and easy way using some tape. I might use my metal tape if I can find it. I'm a little chaotic right now because I've just completed my first week of full-time work and that's allowed me the opportunity to afford to continue to do these videos and I'd love to continue doing these videos to teach you everything if I can everything there is to know about kaleidoscope, kaleidoscope making and kaleidoscope enjoyment <clears throat> um, anyhow get started um, the first way to make and I'm going to mark the back of these because it always helps me out to do so because uh, once I start taking the film off it's a good idea to know what's front and back. And I'm not going to blacken the ends of these like I normally recommend you do, but that way I can see. And I use a permanent marker, I don't know which one. <clears throat> and I'm not going to bother cleaning these either. It's just to show you what happens. And unfortunately, I haven't treated these exactly the best because some of them are chipping and cracking and losing some of their mirror. And that's a bad thing to do. So don't do that. Take good care of your mirrors. <clears throat> and if you find out that you have trouble peeling the uh, uh, vinyl off, you can get a little razor blade and slide it underneath there. You can take your fingernail and slide it underneath the end get it curled over but that does kind of mar the end corner uh, another thing to do is get a piece of tape that's stronger than the adhesive that's used to hold this uh, plastic to the to the mirrors stick it on here and then you start pulling it and it'll pull it off so those are all neat ways to take the uh, <coughs> mirrors off I mean the plastic off the mirrors And I still have a cold too. I've been fighting a cold, bad head cold, and probably even sinus infection. <laughs> My first week of work. Uh, I feel happy. It's a very nice place to work for. Um, I've 
I hope and that it really works out great for all of us. I'm sure it will. I'm not going to give you a name right now because I don't necessarily know if they consider it advertising or not on YouTube. So here's my four mirrors. <clears throat> and I'm going to combine them into and you can overlap these however you want but I'm going to combine them into a rectangle but be consistent on the sides and ends when you do this thing. For example I'm going to have this side and this side up against the bottom And typically when I'm doing this, I will actually use a, um, piece of what I call metal bar. In other words, I'll actually buy a channel, an L-shaped, an L-shaped piece of, uh, steel or brass or something to hold these things in place at the 90 degree angle between them and that's what I'm shooting for is 90 degrees and this is very hard to do and I know it's been a while since I've done this so that's part of the issue <coughs> And I'm getting my finger marks all over these mirrors, which is not a good thing to do either. Um, you might want to buy a pair of surgical gloves or white gloves that you can use to do this with. It's helpful. Not mandatory, but helpful. And then, since this one's on the inside, I'm going to place this one on the inside of these two. Again, it's hard to hold. And there's jigs for doing this. I would actually create a square or rectangular jig to basically put the mirrors on and just wrap them together. I didn't this time. But that's typically what I would do is I would just create a uh, jig and uh, hold them together yeah it's standing Typically, I also take a lot of tape off ahead of time. I didn't do it, and I put it down on the edge of my table. I did that out of view here. Put it down on the edge of the table right there, make it make it handy. You may also want to create a little bar, you know, bar right here in front, tape it on there, and do it that way. So. Yep, this tape is not working very well. That's alright. I will make do on this one. What is interesting is that the company I work for, I have to deal with uh, glass. And originally had nothing to do with me making kaleidoscopes to get that job. I'm working with computers, but it's fascinating that since I am a 
glass person and they did not know that um, comes in handy all right not perfect so anyhow here's here's the first one it's it's four uh, mirrors one two three four and actually if I was doing this I wouldn't use all the same size mirrors I'd uh, because there's there's is that overlap now the other thing is I could have overlapped on one side like right here and then done this overlapping in other words the overlaps would have equaled out I can explain that later hopefully or you can email me or whatever but I just wanted to show you what the four mirror uh, straight looks like <clears throat> and here we go hopefully you can see that and this goes off into infinity and that's the carousel image hope you're seeing that, I hope it looks nice. I don't have this so I'm using this thing, I don't have it right up against it and I should. There we go. So there you go, that's the first one. Now the next one is just a modification on this and what I'm going to do <clears throat> I'm basically going to bring one end probably use the other end because it wasn't taped as well. Let's see here. Now it wants to stick. Doesn't matter. I can bring both sides in or I can bring one side in. It doesn't matter. It's the same effect. Um, <clears throat> let me show you. See I could bring both both sides in and center them here. I could take it over to one side or the other. It doesn't matter. It's Like I said, it's basically the same effect. And what now I've done is create one side that's got a little little group, I mean little area, and the other side's still the same. So now I'm going to show you both sides of it. Here we go. See? Okay, that's one side. And now I'm going to actually turn around. Hopefully they'll fit in there. And what that does, on this side you see it widens it. It makes it um, wrap. If you want to think of it inside. See this one, this one wraps your image we do it back here. Image this way, where it comes to you on the, it, 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 you like you're the inside of the circle, while the small end makes it look like you're on the outside of the circle looking at it. So again, what I call the inside. And that's what the big end or small end looking at the big, and now the big end looking at the small. You see, you got a lot more image. Okay. So there's four mirror systems. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to replace one of these sides with a dark material. So I'll only be using three mirrors, still the same rectangular mirror system. But one of the mirrors is going to be replaced with a piece of cardboard or plastic or whatever I can find. And I'm going to show you the effect using three mirrors in the rectangular or square mirror system. And again, these can be stuck into body tubes. That would have fit real nice. I hadn't thought about that one. I'll remember that. Uh, <coughs> which can be whatever you want to make it out of. You can make it out of stained glass, you can do, remember there's the mirror system, the heart of the kaleidoscope, the body that can be anything. Remember that from last time? It can be whatever you want. Then the object. 
and then of course it's the optics to help it make it easy to be seen you know like mirror like a like lenses and and the other stuff and the other safety features that you have to consider but it's a body a mirror system and objects so I'll be back and I'll have uh, material cut so I can replace one of these sides and show you what that looks like now I'm going to use the same mirrors uh, but this time like I said I'm going to replace one of the mirrors with a piece of uh, cardboard and I do apologize this is why I haven't blackened it out any and I I decided just to do it that way because I thought it might I don't know show the other side better or something you should be able to see the black side better even if it's black but um, I just wanted to let you see what this thing looked like and I've cut the same width as the mirrors and so I'm getting rid of this one mirror so now it's going to be three mirrors as opposed to four but the same basic shape Apologize for the extra noise. The son has found something funny, which is good. He needs to laugh more often. All right then. And now I get to show you what this looks like. Again, I just replaced one of the mirrors with this piece of uh, artboard. And here we go. I'll back it away just a little so you get an idea. I don't think you can see both. So tip it up. There it goes. So there you go. This is three mirrors. None of them tapered. Carousel style. Alright. <clears throat> now I'm going to do like I did last time. I'm just going to, and again it doesn't matter. You can taper them towards, towards the middle. Make them equal. Or you can take one side and bring it over. I'm just going to take one side and bring it over. And again, it's a little tough making it absolutely perpendicular in here. There it goes. And now again, I'm going to show you uh, the small side versus the big side. Time you're looking down the small side into the big side.
Alright, now I'll switch it around. That's the big side, now looking down to the small side. Yeah, I don't have these perfectly perpendicular and such, but if I did, it'd be much better. Okay, there you go. Now, when I do the next step, I'm going to replace the um, the other mirrored side and show you what it looks like then. So really I'm going to have two mirrors coming down an angle and either side will end up being a uh, uh, piece of uh, artboard or cardboard. So I shall return for that one. Okay, so now I have the two mirrors and what I call the two sides. So now we've gone from four mirrors to three mirrors to two mirrors. Still using the basic design. And <clears throat> I'll get some strips of tape and tape it back together again. Alright, this will work. Again, these mirrors might not be absolutely perpendicular. In this case, I got one that's way out. or something. Well, let me show you what I have to give you the idea. Do I get some semblance of a shape out of this? And here's the idea. There you go. And I shall return with the next two. Okay, I've got this assembled now in the uh, uh, normal rectangular pattern. I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, again, I have the mirrors. You see, I can adjust them here. You shouldn't be able to, but. Because I got them a little bit off, but there you go. Bring this up more. All right. So that's that for that one. Now, time for me to move the mirrors in. I might have to untape these a little bit, which I will do. Just as before, I'm going to make one side a little smaller. take these a little bit more apart than I planned.
oops, get it together. Okay, so now I've got tapered where I have a large end again and a small end down here. I'm sorry for all the lay, but here's what it looks like from the large looking to the small. And then from the small end to the large okay so that's your uh, four mirror three mirror two mirror uh, carousel uh, image kaleidoscope mirror system Again, you can put them into any kind of bodies, attach them any way you want to. I just wanted to show you how to do it. Again, it's making making two sides parallel, two mirrors parallel, or four mirrors perpendicular and parallel. And then tapering one, one end down to do something special. So there you go. Hopefully, if you have any questions, please call me. Um, <clears throat> If you need more detail, let me know, but that's that's the concept of what you do to create what they call a carousel image. Uh, there's uh, other forms which you can, again, I could do hundreds of videos on just mirror systems. Uh, so please, just contact me, ask for one in particular. Uh, how to do it, how does it work, how to cut it, uh, whatever. And then again, put them in whatever bodies you want. Um, bottles. Uh, hopefully in a future episode I'll show you how to cut a uh, cut a bottle uh, like we did here, but cut it just to use the body as a kaleidoscope. As a matter of fact, as you see, if you cut that just about right, this could be a... a body for a kaleidoscope. Let me see here. This one could make a large kaleidoscope. As you see, that would fit in there nicely. Um, so many options. Uh, email me. Call me. Contact me. Uh, let me know what you're interested in finding out about kaleidoscopes and uh, I'll try to show you, help you, or experiment. As you see, I've done experiments in the past. Uh, so let me know. The other thing is, again, I'm very grateful to my current employer. Um, for hiring me. This has nothing to do with this, but it does because uh, had I not gotten a full time job and because I haven't been getting very much financial support uh, for these videos, um, since I got a job, I can now continue to doing this, buying materials. It is, is, it is expensive buying the mirror and buying parts and stuff like that, um, but I love this stuff. I'd love to show you how it's done and. I'm going to continue. So check back again. Again, this is uh, going to continue on now. Um, try to do it more frequently, but I'm not too sure if I'll be able to do it more than maybe once a month. I'll try to. Um, sometimes I'll have more time and be able to do multiples of them, and I will. I'll just whenever I get one done, I'll post it out there. So uh, thank you. And by the way, two things: um, be aware of those people with what I call hidden handicaps. Uh, people who just might be suffering in some way or form that you are totally unaware of because you don't see it. Um, again, people who do have visual handicaps, be aware of those as well. You know, be kind to each other. Uh, but there's a lot of people out there who have handicaps and disabilities that you cannot see. You think that they're just normal uh, people and they're just acting it up or just weird or they say the wrong things or you just don't like them for some reason. Well, they might have a disability or handicap that you're not aware of. So let's be kind to each other. Let's be thoughtful to one another and uh, help each other out. Um, 
<clears throat> Another example of one is fibromyalgia. They may be suffering in great pain and agony, uh, have sore spots and just hurt. Uh, their joints may hurt. They may have arthritis. You may not see arthritis in somebody's hand or knee or elbow or whatever. Um, and they may have uh, mental disabilities and those type of things. Let's be kind to each other. Uh, another thing is I want you to remember is go make a kaleidoscope. I'll see you next time. Bye.